Hi guys, thanks so much for tuning into our newscast this week. We are super excited about all of the awesome content we have for you. Let's get right into it with quite possibly the craziest thing that has ever happened to this school. Oh, I'd say it's definitely the craziest thing that's ever happened, at least that I can remember. Let's roll the footage. It all began where most legendary stories do, in the ceiling. After multiple faulty pipe bursts and two catastrophic floods, we find ourselves in a state of chaos with dozens of Buffalo Restoration fans and ripped up trim. Here's security camera footage from the first flood, which originated in the room adjacent to the art room and poured into the high school hallway. From there, alarms were triggered and within minutes, the entire middle school hallway was covered with water. The fire department was called and with the use of buckets, mops, and shovels, they were able to get much of the water out of the building. But the damage was already significant. Wow, that was really scary. Thank you to Abby Meredith for organizing and editing that awesome camera footage, and I guess we can just cross our fingers and hope it doesn't happen again. To something a little less scary, let's check out the annual Halloween costume walk put on by our Ofer Elementary Kindergartners, as well as their Fire Education Day and their WOW Assembly. They really have a lot going on over there, don't they? They really do, and I think you're going to like almost all of these costumes. Almost all of them? Yeah, well, one of them is really dragging them down. That was terrible. Now let's play the footage. They can get water. He controls everything that happens with the pump to get the water where we need it, right here. Yep, it goes levers up and down, gets more gas, and so this is a very, very important part. It's a whole job all in itself. I'm going to call out the whole fifth grade class for being so energetic. <laughs> We had to go do something because it would hurt the fish, humans, and rivers. We are working on a restoration project. Our problem is a new housing development is about to start building along your favorite creek. Thanks again to Abby for putting together that footage. They really do do some fun stuff over there, don't they? They really do. And they also, uh, um, they are also doing really well with the National Honor Society Thanksgiving food drive. Well, that's a great point. We're about halfway through the competition, and right now, second grade is running away with the competition. That's right. In the high school, my seniors are currently in first place, with the juniors not far behind. Hey, Riley. Last time I checked, not a single middle schooler had brought in any food. Hmm, really? That's just atrocious. Listen up over middle school. Make sure you get that food to, um, into your donation bins in the front office for a chance to pie Dr. Shipman in the face. That's right, and the competition ends Thursday, November 21st, so make sure you bring in any green beans, potatoes, stuffing, or mixed fruit before the due date. Awesome. Next up, we're going to head over to the middle school and check in with their knowledge on the 1990s. Well, obviously it's the 1990s, but... Those kids are like 12 years old. How are they supposed to know something that happened like 15 years before they were born? Exactly. Let's find out. The most 90s thing you can think of. Disco. I don't know. Aerobics. <laughs> Do you know what Cubert is? Yeah. Uh, Wreck It Ralph. It was in Wreck It Ralph. It, it, he was. Circle, and he's got like a little nose thing. And he goes, oh, yeah. <laughs> Does the name Pop Tropica ring any memories? Yes. Big, the big head people. The big yeah. Head people, yeah. 
Have you ever played Club Penguin? Yes. <laughs> yes. That is my life. Yes. Yes. I, like, I ha didn't you have your own like penguin character? Yes. 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 <laughs> you haven't? Yes, I used Love to do Love that. Penguin? What about Webkins? Oh, I like Webkins too. Isn't that the website with little stuffed animals? Yep. Yeah. Little like W on the plot. Yeah. And scan it and like play with them online. Do you know the startup for GameCube? Yeah. Do you know the PS2 startup? Nope. Oh yeah. It's like oh. whoosh and then cloud wind explosion. Doesn't it just like open up and it's like a song? Like... What about a Nintendo 64? Mm, Sounds like not familiar with the particular device. They used to have them in really old McDonald's. I don't know then. Do you know what a VHS is? Yes, I shall. How do you work one? You put it in. Put it in. So. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh,
we pulled it out the last couple games, which is good. My second question is, uh, what is your favorite memory of the season so far? Oh God, um, <laughs> I think probably a great highlight of the season was the very start when we did the lock-in at the school and played volleyball until 1 a.m. Um, definitely beating Twin Bridges in the last minute. That was awesome. And probably beating Ennis. Those two were awesome. Uh, probably watching you catch the touchdown pass in Twin Bridges. All right. Um, so what do you think you guys' chances are of making division is? Um, It's pretty high this year. Um, we just need to work together, not play the catch-up game that we usually do, and limit our unforced errors and work on our serving. But otherwise, we work really well as a team, and we just need to work on our offense as much as our strong defense. What are you going to miss most about high school football? Uh, probably being on a team with everybody um, and it was re it's really cool that like we can have freshmen through seniors that we all play on the same team so you kind of get to know everybody throughout through all the classes and everything um, probably Friday night lights and just playing under the lights that's, that's the best part so yeah I miss that what are you gonna miss most about playing volleyball um not exactly like just playing the sport but like the friendships and the teammates that we've and the friendships from the teammates that we've all made, that's definitely going to be a big part. Of course, I'll miss the sport, but I'll miss the relationship. Great, and as fall girls. sports finish up, winter sports are just right around the corner with boys and girls basketball practice kicking off in just under two weeks. And the Lady Miners <clears throat> middle school basketball season in the heart of their season as well. Back to you, Riley. Well, guys, I think this sets the record for the longest newscast ever, but thanks for sticking with us until the end, and be sure to be on the lookout for more coming up in a couple of weeks. For Michael Romney, this is Riley Germain. Have a fun weekend, everyone.